Hey, Double Helix, I want to talk to you about Killer Instinct, real quick. I'm a huge fighting game fan, and Killer Instinct has always been one of my favorite franchises. I keep it in my SNES almost as frequently as Mario, Mega Man, or Street Fighter. I've been hoping for the past couple of E3s that KI would make its triumphant return because of the fighting game renaissance started by Street Fighter 4. But then the poor PR for the Xbox One came out. I'm not going to talk about that right now, but overall I think that Xbox's message is really muddy and they don't know exactly what they're trying to say, but the system looks really powerful and can stand on par with the PlayStation 4. No, this is about you. You had me with the trailer, but you lost me with the business model. Offering the game for free with one character, Jago, who's essentially a Ryu reskin, while holding the rest of the characters hostage for a fee is kind of a dick move. Especially with the quote that you gave to support that model. Microsoft producer Sean Torn, it'll be over soon, Reddick said, We wanted to do something disruptive. We wanted to do something that took into consideration how most people play fighting games. Most people who play fighting games aren't even going to play half of the characters. Why not let them play the characters they want? First of all, fuck you. Second of all, fuck you! Third of all, in order to figure out what characters you want to main as, you have to play through them all. Especially with a franchise that has been dead 20 years whose mechanics might not even be relevant in today's fighting game scene. This model tells me that none of the characters are going to be really deep so as to be on pretty equal value with each other. From the gameplay that has been shown, the highest combo number is all that matters. It takes the basic selling point of the original franchise and brings it to a new generation. After Killer Instinct's appearance on Jimmy Fallon with Phil Spencer essentially playing like a noob that just spamming the low punch and the low kick button, I don't feel confident that there's going to be enough growth with the combat mechanics. If the price announcement of the Xbox One tells you anything, Phil Spencer was not the right guy to do this. Then again, neither was Sean Torin Reddick. They announced that there was going to be a season pass option for at least one round of characters, they didn't say how many there were, but I assume that with any game that has been on Xbox Live, they're going to release it on a disc, but for a lower price, and by the time that happens, maybe the Xbox One will be low enough for me to buy it. Unless I win one for free. Or get one donated to me. <laughs> Are you a fighting game fan? Ever play Killer Instinct for the SNES or N64? Let me know what you think of all of this down below. Let's talk about it. Until next time. Ultra Combo! Breaker!